you know, the more I judge myself, the more I see why you all won't allow me in the court, right? But what I don't understand is how did the state of Florida become the United States Postal Service? And how did the state of Florida become Bill Hurd Chevrolet? See, this is what I'm saying. Like, well, who, if, if I went to court against Bill Hurd Chevrolet and then the post office said that I told the employee to step outside as if I wasn't an employee of the United States Postal Service, as if I didn't have a union, right? And I'm saying, well, well okay, if my friend's saying that I need a lawyer, right? I'm saying, well, hey, man, what about with the post office? I'm a union man. So why the union not dealing with the post office problem? See, so, see, this is what I'm saying, right? When a plot is foiled, right? Then is not the plan spoiled? Now, well, why would I not understand the plot if I had a plan to survive the post office ever since 1994? See, I'm saying when my friends saw the post office fire me the first time, see, I never told them how I got my job back. Because to me, that was a selfish thing at that moment, right? See, that's what I was telling my daughter. Like, when they tried to kick me out of school in 11th grade, see, my mother was on drugs. So I couldn't find her. My daddy didn't care. And my grandmama, she she was talking about I was just as bad as they were saying. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. So I had to come back to school on my own in the 11th grade. They kicked me out for fighting a teacher. I came back to school because the teacher put his hands on me first. And I knew the law. My wife, who is my wife now was my girlfriend. She was in the class. So she know that I got my job. I mean, I came back to school on my own. Everybody was saying he got, he expelled, boom, 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 all of that talking. And on the fourth day, right? So I stayed out of school three days. On the fourth day, which would have mean I stayed out three days, like I told them, I came back to school. The lady ran out the class, right? Going to tell them that I was in his class. Well, see, I, my parents never signed no paperwork. I ain't got, I was my own, I was a, a emancipated minor. <laughs> I was raising myself, man. See, and I was actually going to school to talk to my wife. She was my girlfriend. But they had made me mad. See, they were like, oh, you dumb. You <laughs> I'm saying dumb. So then I started going to graduate just to show them. See, I wasn't trying to go to college. I was actually just playing. I would go in the class, go to sleep, man. And then I would get up, take the test, and pass it. Then I would, when I'm up, I would be arguing with them about what they teaching. See? And so then they said I was a problem. But I'm saying, well, how do you solve a problem if you act like it's not a problem? See, but now I see the problem with religion because religion teach people with a problem to accept the problem they have. So then the people with a problem become comfortable with the problem they got. But if you are not the creator of your problem, then that is not your problem. It's the creator of the problem's problem. See, that's why they scared now. See, because who I have always been is now shown. See, so I'm saying, well, if you saying I'm crazy, man, I always been crazy, right? I'm saying so. Well, why when I was successful and I was working for the post office, you ain't say I was crazy? But when I was at the post office, the post office was saying I was crazy. Because that's why they did this craziness, thinking that they I was crazy. But see, I'm saying, 
just because I'm man enough to tell you about you, why you think I'm crazy? Because you think I'm think I'm too much man, so you gonna take the man out of me? And I'm saying, well, how can you do that? Right? I ain't scared to fight you. I ain't scared to die. So what you gonna do? You gonna lie? Man, how you gonna take the, the man out of the truth? How you gonna take the truth out of the man? See, now you done made me prove beyond the shadow of a legal doubt that I'm true. So now, how can you prove that the person you made the truth is not the truth you made them, right? So if you force me to tell the truth and you take me into a place where you tell me to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God, and then you lie, and then I take the Florida Constitution and the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, statutory law, and the Civil Rights Act of 1964, and put them on you. So now, did I not put the writers of the Florida Constitution and the United States Constitution, the United States uh, Bill of Rights, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Declaration of Independence, uh, Independence, statutory law, and the writers of the Civil Rights Act in 1964 now are uh, testifying against your crime? Because if you can say, if the government is the electorate, right, the one that people elect, then how can they say that you violating the law, right, and then they say that they can violate your rights. So which one is the most important to the masses? Individual rights or their rights to violate an individual rights? See what I'm saying? So if you let them violate my rights, then I should have let them violate your rights. But see, the difference in between you and I is I know who I am and you searching for who you are. So that's why you would have took money because you never made money before. Money always made you. See, but I made the money. The money never made me. That's why I now have evidence of how I made the money. See, see, you don't have evidence of how you made the money because if you do, then you got to tell about the crime you are. See, if you made money doing a crime, then you a crime because you can't explain how you made the money. So you yourself is a crime. See me, because I make money, I can then explain how I made $1.2 million. So how I'm not worth way more than the money I made. That's why I can tell you how I made the money, not how the money made me.